I work with people who are often distracted by bright, shiny objects. What can I do about it? Okay, we call this bright, shiny object syndrome, or BSOS. And it's typically a problem when you're trying to manage a group of people who you want to achieve something. This week, we're going to look at what it is and how you might manage through it. Okay, so the big question is, if you haven't come across it before, what is bright shiny object syndrome. So bright shiny objects distract an audience from where they should be looking. Now, if you're a magician and you're trying not to let them see how a trick is done, it can be a great way to distract people with a sleight of hand or something so they don't see what you really do. It's more of a problem when that sort of action takes the attention of your team away from the goals you want them to achieve. You know, I often hear people complain that their senior managers are really prone to bright shiny object syndrome. The implication they're trying to make here is, of course, that the senior management can't stick with one project long enough to complete it. You know, they get their attention grabbed by the new shiny object or the new thing going on. By the way, this is particularly an issue for many entrepreneurs uh, who may be worried about missing the next big thing because they, they always want to be doing the latest, the hottest thing. You know, bright, shiny objects are typically fun, they're typically interesting, they're typically engaging, but they divert energy into unrealized and underachieved goals. Okay, so how do you stop yourself from getting bright, shiny object syndrome? Well, it's a problem for others. It can also be a problem for each one of us as we get distracted by these bright, shiny things. You know, whatever project it is I'm trying to do, I was trying to follow five simple steps that help keep me and my projects focused. Okay, number one, make sure you build a really good, clear plan. Number two, be really clear on the benefits of your project to the people who will be receiving it. Number three, clearly communicate it so everybody in know, around you knows what's going on. Number four, get buy-in from your peers and from the senior team to the project you're doing. And number five, commit to the milestones and show that you are making them. If you do these things, you can ne normally steer yourself clear and away from bright, shiny objects. What you'll notice is that I keep using the word clear because clarity of communications, as ever, is very important to understanding and understanding is important to not being distracted by bright, shiny objects. Okay, so how do you stop others from being you know, distracted by these bright, shiny objects. As we've said before in these episodes, he who has the plan has a plan. It could be she, of course, but if you don't have a plan, you are not going to achieve your objectives. Without a clear plan, you really can't complain about bright, shiny objects because you haven't shown an alternative. A plan enables people to keep focused on goals and objectives. Making sure people around you build plans and commit to them is something that you can do. In fact, take the five things we just looked at and don't forget they're always in the speaker notes and make sure that other people follow those five steps. You know, if you can't get your company ever to commit to building plans or writing plans, then you're going to have a much bigger problem than bright, shiny object syndrome. People need plans. Think of it like a train. If you lay down the tracks, then the train will follow them. If you don't, the train will either not work or it'll go where it wants to. The plan is your tracks. You know, most of us like new shiny things, but when they distract us from our end goals, they cause us to miss our objectives. 